Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily general message for Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also guys, don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. This is quite the interesting spread. Uh, it is a general, so you have to keep that in mind. So it could go either way with uh, what you decide, because we all have free will, free choice here. So yeah. All right. So let's get into this here. All right. I feel that somebody after quite some time is now returning into your life again with that communication. Could definitely come out of the blue energy as well. What's wild with this is that there's some kind of foul play I'm feeling here. You have the Eight of Swords with the Devil. Now, the Devil I am picking up because the Devil is turned looking at the Lover's card. So that's a sexual energy for me. They're coming back kind of strong in regards to a little hanky-panky. You know, uh, got, the, got the gears shifted. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with it. But in the same sense... This concerns me because I feel that they're still stuck in their mind here. They're still a little stressed in regards to the slowness of this relationship. Think gears basically dropped, okay? They shifted down here, okay? We're talking Deb here. Uh, but I definitely feel that when they return, they're not quite ready yet. They're still in their head here, but they're coming back on a sexual level. I don't know how else to say it, but just say it, okay? So I do feel that they are going to be returning to offer that cup of love here, but they have other plans in their mind as well. So be careful with that, you know, in regards to uh, being taken advantage of as well, okay? Uh, you can tell my mom is, my mominism is coming out. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I just don't feel that they are quite right yet in their return. They have other agenda in their mind here, and I feel it has a lot to do with the sexual energy, okay? Just saying. All right. So there is going to be this change of this movement of this communication with the death card here and the six of swords. That six of swords is heading towards could be an apology here to get you on your good side here. But I do feel that they are going to offer that cup of love regardless with communication and coming looking right at that. There it is. After not feeling this love for some time, I feel with that Knight of cups as well as the four of cups here. They are going to offer that cup of love. What's really cool about the Four of Cups is that it can go either way. It all depends on the energy and the cards around it. That's what I'm feeling both ways here. However, this is where it gets a little weird. The Seven of Swords is known for deceit, okay? Uh, it's stressed too for some cards, but I'm really feeling that it's more so in your regards to your energy here. Now, you could be dealing with a Earth sign energy. You could be Earth here. But it's really going to shock you in regards to how fast they're coming in. The only thing that I worry about here is that they're being kind of deceitful with you. Meaning, different different things. Are they ready for a relationship? That's what I'm feeling. In the other sense, with that devil and the lover's card here, yeah, they could be having somebody on the side here. Okay? Meaning a third party. They're not ready to come in yet. There's something fishy about this energy that I don't really like. And I, I don't like saying, you know, bad reviews on this uh, spread here. But I got to be real. And I'm feeling that somebody is returning either A, because it is a general, there's going to be different scenarios for everybody out there. A, I feel that there's definitely somebody on the side. Okay. Uh, B, I feel that they're not ready mentally to accept the challenge of going into this relationship full-heartedly, okay? Uh, and C, I just feel that they're basically just out for the sex, you know? I don't know how else to put that. So I really feel that it's going to kind of shock you how fast they're coming, coming in with that communication as well as really, really think about this decision when they come in. I see a lot of red flags, okay, with this spread. And that concerns me because I don't want anybody on the wrong path, you know. So here's the outcome. Be strong in regards to either ending this situation when they come back or be strong after something ended is the way that I take these two cards. Now, I could keep pulling, but really it's a general and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. This is where you have to step in and decide for yourself. You know what I mean? I can't really suggest anything, your outcome here for this, because it's a very, 
a whirlwind of emotions and energy here. Basically, guys, what this tells me is that there's going to be a change. Let's do the five above, five below. They're coming in in regards to communication. Could kind of make your mind spin with how fast you hear from them, okay? But I do feel there is movement. However, their energy is still not there all the way, okay? They're still up in their head. They're not stable enough for a real relationship here. They're going to pour on the charm, I got to say, okay? Uh, in regards to communicating, saying I love you kind of thing. Now, are they legit? Yes, I do feel that they do love you here. Okay, I'm not bashing that by any means. I just worry about the energy that they're displaying in this spread here. Uh, I do feel that they do love you. However, that energy of the devil looking over at that lover's card really screams to me, just coming back for a little, uh, you know, engine repair. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I do feel that it's been quite some time here, but I don't feel the end. I don't like this energy of the seven of swords heading in your direction to be truthful here. Now, it could stress you out as well. There's another scenario in regards to are they being honest with me or what have you, and that's where the confusion will lie. Okay. So there's a lot of different scenarios going on with this spread lot of messages here. So it's all going to depend on your own situation, obviously, because it is a general. But I really feel that you need to, you know, hear them out. But there are some that are going to hear them out and stay strong to hear them out and say, no, I'm done with you. Then there are other ones that are going to have the strength, hear them out, and just say, okay, let bygones be bygones and we'll put work into it, is what this tells me. So whatever situation that this resonates with you, I hope that this helps. I know there was a lot of messages and it was kind of confusing, but to some degree. But I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You guys rock. Be safe out there, absolutely, if you are resonating with this. I don't want to see anybody get hurt, you know. But that's what I have, guys. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.